wrestling fans. Welcome to another edition of XPW TV. Chris Kloss here alongside of Larry Rivera. And we're standing right here in front of the LA Sports Arena, just a few days away from D-Day, Friday night, May the 26th, right here at the LA Sports Arena. That's correct, Chris Kloss. And Robert Black has promised that they, this night, May 26th at the Sport Arena, will be the night to go down in the annals of XPW history. He has also promised that he will reveal his D-Day surprise. We're also gonna take a look at some of the matches taking place next Friday night here at D-Day, as well as the footage that our camera crews got of this mysterious woman. We just now found out her name to be Jessica, the one who's been stalking white trash Johnny Wood. Remember the shake in the cage? Yeah, I remember that, man. We are also going to see the debut of the insane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Debut. It's spelled with the T. Chico, yeah, you'll say, brother. Let, let me finish here. The, the debut of the maniac, Pogo the Clown, as he takes on Homeless Jimmy. But first, last week, we saw the interview that I conducted with Kid Chaos. New XPW CEO Josh Lazy came out to the ring and ordered the Westsiders out to attack the youngster. If it wasn't for his friend Steve Rosano, Kid Chaos may not even be in XPW today. After that, Rosano and Cass got their shot at the Westsiders in Ventura and Bakersfield. Oh, wait a minute, the Westsiders attacking. Referee Danny Ramirez is ringing the bell for this matchup. And the Westsiders Pearl Harbor job on Rosano and Kid Chaos. Look at this guy, Chronic, man. Look at how he lays in with the punches. Well, Big Rot and Chronic now going at, whoa, look at this now. Chaos on the Big Rot. Atlanta. Rosano and Chaos. Now these two guys we found out former best friends from childhood. I mean, this is the guy who came into the ring to, to save Kid Chaos from the West Side. He's at the fourth arena. And look at that. Springboard aside moon salt by Chaos outside the ring. And look at this, Rosano with the Buddha cross line. And now once again the West Siders. And look at this, Chronic now. Reversal. Kid Chaos goes down. Chronic steps over across the ropes, up and over. Chronic now. Close line duck underneath. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. That was beautiful. You know when I was a little kid in Cuba, I used to hang out with guys like this, huh? the West Siders. These guys are tough. Very tough, man. Well now. We're in the United States, Larry, and Chronic now going down. Chaos across the ropes, up and over again. Whoa, spinning heel kick of his own from Kid Chaos onto Chronic. Hey, look at Kid Chaos showing that he knows the much Two, no! Two, two. Well, he sure definitely does, giving Chronic a taste of his own medicine. He can't take anything away from Chronic's heel kicks. They are awesome. And look at that. Drive right down to the mat with authority, Chaos. Body slam. Chaos pointing up. The youngster, the high-flying sensation, plans on flying here in Ventura as action persists on the outside of the ring. Wait a minute, chaos now. Chaos on the top rope. Whoa, look at the elevation. Beautiful, beautiful. Play. One, two, oh, only two. Steel chair, well, swing and a miss. Oh, Ooh. spinning heel kick. Caught Boy. chaos right in the face with a steel chair. Right in the nose. Get chaos down, Rosano back in the ring now. These two guys had their work cut out for him here. And the West Sider sure proving himself here in XPW. Double team action now on Rosano. Finally, finally. Wait a minute, it looks like, it looks like, oh, it's the drive-by. Chronic just hit Rosano with the drive-by. This could be it. Referee Danny Ramirez down. Yeah, come in. Hey, Lazy. Hey, what's up, Chaos? I'll tell you what's up. You remember a while back when I talked to Rob Black? Yeah, about getting your push. Yeah, about getting my spot in XPW. Yeah. Becoming a star in XPW. Becoming a player in XPW. Yeah. You know, I got none of that. Rob Black turned his back on me. You're not the only he one. He didn't give me my push. You know, at the sports arena, you took over the company. Yeah. You know? That was a good thing for the boys. You told me you were going to give me my spot. And what did you give me? You gave me the West Siders to slaughter me. If it wasn't for my boy Rosano, I would have been done. Well, let me. Before you go getting crazy, let me explain to you what's going on. I got a spot that needs to be filled, and I want you to be the guy to fill that spot for me. But I had to know that you have the heart. I know you got the talent. You got all the talent in the world, but with all that talent, with no heart, it doesn't mean anything. I needed to know that you had the heart. When I saw your boy Rosano jump in there, I mean, he 
he impressed the hell out of me. The two of you guys together impressed the hell out of me. So much that I want to put you both in a spot. What's that? Pretty soon, I'm going to crown the tag champs of XPW. Tag team champions. I want you and Rosano to wear those belts. I know you can do it. There's, I don't have a doubt in the world you guys can do it. So what I'm going to do to let everybody know what I know is next Saturday night, Sports Arena, I'm going to put you in a three-way dance. Public Enemy and the West Side. You guys go in there, you hold your own, you beat the hell out of them, you prove to the world, you already proved to me, but you prove to the world that you're worthy of wearing the belts. Just go in there, handle your business. Okay. When we, when we come with the belts, we'll be wearing them. Three-way dance? Three-way dance. No, we can handle that. One word of advice? What's that? Lace those bo boots up tight so those guys don't play, brother. All right, All right. Okay. So cool. I can trust you? you? You know you can trust me. I'm not Rob. Everything is totally different here. I'm not Rob. Don't make that mistake. All right. All right, bro? Thanks, Lazy. All right, man. I'll see you at the sports arena. See you. Call me if you need anything, brother. All right. All right. Make sure everything's taken care of before I get there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. someone's on the door. Yeah, come in. Uh, you know what? I gotta go. You know, someone, I'll, I'll tell you later. I gotta go. What are you doing here? Can I talk to you for a minute? Aren't you Lizzie's bitch? No, you see, it's not like that. I, Lizzie, what she's making me do out there, I can't take it anymore. I, I can't strip it every show. I can't crone a spank in me. I, I can't take it anymore. She's, Lizzie is very abusive to me, and she's mean, and I can't, I can't handle it. And if you think she's mean to me at the shows, you should see what she does, like, behind closed doors. That's horrible. And, I mean, Lizzie and Rob were, were mean, both mean, before you came here, and now that you're here, they just, they've, they've gone crazy. And I just, every show, I'm just waiting for her to do something worse. I, I can't take it. I need you to help me get away from them. Please, I'll do anything. Just, just get me away from her. I can't handle her abusing me all the time like this. You want my help? Please. I'll, I'll do anything. I'll do anything. I'll help you out. Don't worry about it. Just, just get me away from them, please. You'll do anything? I'll do anything. All right. Don't worry. I'll help you out. But remember, you're going to do anything. I'll do anything. Hey, brother, I can't believe it. A three-way dance for the Los Angeles Sport Arena, man. Those three teams, they tore it up over there at the Strombo Stadium in Bakerfield. But Josh Lacey has ordered the match for next Friday night at the LA Sport Arena. Well, Larry, still to come tonight in our main event, Supreme puts his King of the Death Match title on the line against Axel Rotten. And we're also going to take a look at some of the matches happening Friday night at D Day. That's right, right that's right. Hey, right man. Here. Hey, you know what? I cannot wait. I can't wait, man, to see what Robert Black has in surprise for this guy, Josh. Lacey, Lousy. What Lazy, Lousy. Lazy, Lacey, look, okay, Larry, yeah. Larry, Lacey has put together a phenomenal lineup for this Friday night at D-Day, and hopefully we're going to see the demise of Rob Black. But I want to talk about right now, 
Jake Lawless and Carlito Montana. That's right, that's right, my boy. My main man, Carlito Montana. I guarantee you people that he is going to give a big payback, a big paycheck, brother, to Jake Lawless for costing him the match against real deal Damian Steele, man. Carlitos way, Carlitos way, beautiful move, it's all over, it's all over now, one, two, three. Four for the cover now, Carlito, this is it, it's over, Jake Wallace, he just pulled out referee Hernandez. Hey, what's the matter here, man, this, this should be disqualification, automatically disqualification, why is Hernandez not calling for the best, this match should be over, Carlitos should have his hand in the air, man, what's going on here? I got a bone to pick with you, pal. I was gonna stand up for you, you were gonna stand up for me. There we are, you have a tournament for my title. I jump in the ring with that homicidal, genocidal goof in the MC Hammer genie pants. You toss him a chair and he hits me with that camel jockey face buster. Concussion, three days unaccounted for. I wake up on the beach of Acapulco, margarita in this hand, a box of chiclets in this hand, and my hair braided like Bo Derek. Don't get me wrong, I like the hair, think I'm gonna keep it, but that's not the point. The point is, we had a deal. My foot was on the rope. The ref didn't see it, or was he paid off? I don't know. All I know is we had a deal. I was gonna stand up for you, you were gonna stand up for me. What have you got to say for yourself? Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, Damien, I can't control Sabu. You want me to control the uncontrollable? The guy's the guy's nuts. Everyone knows it. As far as far as me doing what I did, I did what was best for the company. I had to do what was best for the company. Believe me, just trust me, Damien. But right now, what I need you to do is we got this guy, the Messiah, running around out of control, ego flying all over the place. The Messiah, the Son of God. For all we know, he's a filthy dishwasher. And this guy claims that he should be the next XPW heavyweight champ. Now, no one, no one knows better than the two-time XPW heavyweight champ what it's like to wear the gold. Well, you're right there, pal. So, what I need you to do, the sports arena, Friday night, you take care of the Messiah. We already know he's with Rob. Got to get him out of there. You take care of him, and we'll be right back on track. And you have my word. Just trust me on that. I'll tell you what, pal. I'll take out the Messiah. But I want my gold back, and you better not be jerking my chain. And that's the real deal. Hey, call my decorator.
Dear Heavenly Father, I have failed you. I've let you down. I can no longer look at you in the eyes. When I returned, I knew I had a long road ahead of me. Convincing people of their sins is never an easy task. But I never imagined it to be this rough. The XPW wrestlers, promoters, and fans still live in a cesspool of sin, Lord. Refusing to walk the way of the Lord. I tried to warn them, and they refused to listen. So I decided that because they wouldn't change, they'd have to be destroyed. I started with white trash Johnny Webb. And believe me, what he felt in Bakersfield was only the beginning. Rob Black, he sinned that night. He struck the son of the Lord. But I know that he didn't mean to do it. He attempted to help the crusade that night. But it simply went wrong. Rob Black, your sins have been forgiven. But you see, I realized something that night. I realized something I have never realized before. That he who holds the gold has the power. And therefore my crusade is to win the XPW title. Sabu, Sabu, I had you beat! You're nothing but a beast, a sinner who craves violence for the sake of violence. I should have destroyed you and procured XPW gold, but apparently it just wasn't my time. You see, the path to salvation is now clear. I will sacrifice Sabu for the sins he has committed. But first, but first I must vanquish Damien Steele. Mr. Steele, he's been to the mountaintop more than anybody. He has been to the pinnacle. Mr. Steele has accepted his role as one of Lazy's disciples. Lazy is nothing but a false prophet. And for that, Lazy will be destroyed. For you know I am the one. The kingdom come, my will be done. The Messiah has returned. Just clobbered homeless Jimmy. Guido taking a hike. And right Re there, the Patrick Hernandez signal for the bell, man. Referee Patrick Hernandez signaling for the bell. This match is officially underway. And look at this monster Pogo just stomping away at homeless Jimmy. Pogo, he's a maniac. He's mentally unstable. And I, 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 he looks familiar. Like this guy, I, I want to say like this killer. This guy from Chicago. Oh, yeah. The boys. That's what he looks like. John, uh, John Wayne Gacy. That's oh, it. look at that clothesline. That's it. Well, Pogo the Clown. Nonetheless, what's he doing? He's looking up like he's trying to see something in the sky. What a weirdo. He's just looking up into the sky. Wait, now he's got that trash can lid again. He got the trash can oh, lid. what a Jimmy counters. He got the feet up and hit Pogo square in the head with that trash can lid. Jimmy going up uh, upstairs all the way to the top. Drop kick. Missile drop kick from the top rope and Pogo goes down. Pogo's landing with a big cut. He's not a very actual guy, so you can see. Oh! oh shit metal. Homeless Jimmy with the shit metal there. Well, Homeless Jimmy with the sheet metal, and now, wait a minute, he's got Whatever. that trash can lid. Pogo down, ah, oh, right to the head. Brutal force, brought down on the head by Homeless Jimmy. Homeless Jimmy now with Pogo, trying to whip him into the ropes. This guy's huge, into the ropes. Jimmy with the clothesline. Oh, and look at that. Jimmy almost looks like he dislocated his shoulder almost. Trying to clothesline Pogo. Brown now with Jimmy. Oh, look at that. Right out onto the concrete floor here in Ventura, California. The fans trying to give their assistance to homeless Jimmy. I wait see a, a couple of guys trying to pass him some. What's Pogo doing now? Oh, wait a minute. From the ring apron down with the trash can lid onto Jimmy. Coming right out in front of us here, it looks like. Homeless Jimmy is a marvel. Wait a look out. He's a marvel of human a punishment ability. Well, look at this now. Pogo continuing the offense now. Oh, and look at that trash can shot right to the head again to Jimmy. Jimmy taking a lot of punishment in this match. The ability of Jimmy to withstand the punishment 
is something almost supernatural. Well, right now, wait a minute, Jimmy now, forearms to the back of Pogo, trying to, try, I guess, to whip him in. Wait, Irish, oh, reversal now, ah! Oh! Jimmy! Head first into the chopping cart. Right into the shopping cart, right in front of that huge steel axe here in Ventura. The corporate logo of XPW. We got a spotlight now in the crowd here, these two going at it. You're on the concrete floor, and Jimmy's still down. Jimmy. Whoa, he's got that keyboard from Jimmy's cart. Ah! Oh, right to the midsection of Jimmy. This guy, Pogo, I mean, you know, this guy, wait a minute, Jimmy, no. Oh, and look at the keys fly. All those keys from the keyboard, Larry. Wait a minute, he's got the whole jumping cart. What's he still. doing? It's going, oh, into the ring. Oh, look at that shot. That elbow right in the head. Pogo the Clown with all that mass behind him, crashing right into the head of Jimmy. And you saw earlier, Jimmy hit his head pretty good on that big X. So he's, he's seeing it. Bunch of stars. Not only that, but you got to remember all those shots with the trash can lid earlier on in the match. But Jimmy may be setting up his own demise here by throwing that shopping cart in the ring, forearm to the back from Pogo. A lot of times in the Jimmy's match, this shopping cart actually becomes the weapon. Not only the carrier of the weapons, but the weapon itself. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, Jimmy high above. This guy, the height. No, no, no. Ah! That's insane. The lower back, the lower back is broken. Jimmy! I'm gonna say right now, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this guy broke his back on that chopping car. Jimmy barely moving a muscle. This guy Pogo the Clown, this monster, just torturing Jimmy. Wait a minute, look at this. Power bomb. This has gotta be it. Hernandez down three, it's over. That was the Pogo bomb. Give me a second, man. I got orders, man. I gotta keep this place closed up. something making yourself comfortable oh uh oh hey lazy i was just looking for those little uh little white pills that you always have at the show hey uh listen uh i'm here because i i need to talk to you man i i, I got like a little a little problem N not like a pill problem but um anyway uh lazy listen to me uh i saw what happened to you at at the bakersfield show and and i was thinking that like maybe we could like work out a deal you know what i mean uh, like I saw the the Messiah, he nailed you, you know. He hit you right in the jaw. I bet yeah. that I bet that hurt a little bit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, y you see now, I, I have a problem and you have a problem. We could help each other. See, uh, like if if you could give me like another shot at, at the Messiah, you know, so I could get him back for you and everything. If 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 you could just do me like this little favor, if if you could keep that that, that crazy girl that keeps following me around, if if you could just like keep her out of my way, you know, keep her out of the building, you know, like you do with Rob Black. Well, I mean, not as good as the job as that because you know he got in anyway. But you know what I mean, right? Just just keep just keep her out of my hair, you know, so I can I can uh, beat up on the Messiah for you. You know, what do you what do you well, say? Messiah's Messiah's been taken care of. I got Damien in a match with Messiah, but uh, okay. You know what? I know what you can do for me. I'm gonna put you in a match with Cronus. Cronus, why Cronus? Cause he needs to get the hell beat out of him. Trying to beat me up, trying to beat Sabu up. Just go in there and beat the hell out. What do you care? You do that, I'll take care of this. Who is this girl anyway? I, I I don't know. What did you, uh, you do know, to her? I don't know. Th well, these girls, they just love me. But but anyway, um, uh, well, yeah, okay. Uh, if if you if Sports you Sports Arena, you take care of Cronus. I'll take care of the girl. You keep her out. You keep her out of my way. Keep her out. No problem. Uh, all right, then. We got a deal. All right, we got a deal. Okay, that's cool. Get the hell out from my desk. Well, I was just looking for, you know... Come on, uh, Webb. Get out of here. Okay, but we got a deal, right? Dude, you know what? Just go to the store and get us a couple beers. Uh, okay, you got any money? Oh, God. There you go. Take that. I all want right. my change. Okay, okay, there you go. Ooh, 100. You know, Larry Rivera, I don't know about you, but I am so glad 
to see that Lazy is doing everything he can to keep Rob Black away from XPW. And like I said last week, I am so glad to see stars like the real deal, Damien Steele, showing their support and supporting Lazy. Hopefully, this Friday night here at the LA Sports Arena, May 26th, the D Day will be the nail in the coffin for Rob Black. Hey. What's the matter with you, Chico? What's the matter with you me? You losing your brains or what, man? man? Let me tell you, Robert Black built the XPW. Lacey stole it. Cut and simple, man. That's the way it is. And if I know, if I know the way things are, man, this Robert Black with the brains he's got, he's going to prove that this D-Day is going to be a new day, a new rebirth for XPW. And as far as I know, this guy, real deal, Damien Steele, the guy who I believe is the rightful champion, the Messiah is going to send this guy straight to hell. Well, in addition to our main event, as Sabu with Lazy in his corner takes on Rob Black's mystery wrestler, we're gonna see three of XPW's most hardcore, King of the Deathmatch Supreme, Axel Rotten, and Homeless Jimmy square off in a three-way dance that's guaranteed to be brutality at its most brutal. Here, look at this. Oh. Taking that, well, what is that, a can? It looks like a piece of wood and it shattered into pieces on Jimmy's head. He might be busted open with that. He's that gotta be. Wait a minute, Supreme! Supreme, he's coming to the Supreme. end. Supreme, where he come from, man? What the hell is he doing here? Outside to another level, man. Supreme going right after him, though. Jimmy fighting back, and look at this man just cleared the bleachers. The Supreme, whoa, he's setting his table up in the entranceway. What the guess. hell does he have in mind? He's gonna set the table up. Larry, wait a minute, oh, DDT into the concrete. Into the concrete What floor. are they gonna do with this table, man? Look at this. <laughs> My goodness, Dios mío, ustedes vieron eso? Esto es una maravilla. Supreme, I find you guilty of being a wannabe hardcore wrestler, so your sentence is solitary confinement. Case dismissed. Hopefully fans, our cameras caught that, but apparently referee ruling this, this match a no contest. This is XPW, Larry Rivera, and whoa, look at this now. Axel Rotten using that sickle as a weapon on oh. the forehead of Supreme. Whoa. Okay. Larry Rivera, I know your opinions on hardcore wrestling, but look at this, man. This is XPW, and listen to these fans. Like I said before, man, it says wrestling on the marquee. It's the marquee. It's the no. It doesn't say violence, it doesn't say death, so there's a pro wrestling, Chico. Well, pro wrestling has changed, man, and XPW is changing with it. Oh, and look at this now. Axel Rotten just tossing Supreme into that steel cage, and look at all the weapons in here. Whoa. His, his head is already cut open. He's busted by wide open. Sickle. What do you expect? Breaking that sickle on his forehead, and he delivers the trash can into the bloody Supreme. Supreme going down now. Axel Rotten hovering above him like a predator. Look at this guy. Weapons all over the ring. You have to watch where you put your footing. Oh. You can't wrestle a, a, a regular match. You can't do a, a Huracan Rana. Low blow from Supreme there onto Axel Rotten. And then he delivered that trash can right to the head, right between the eyes. And look at these. He's better nails suspended in the ring in the steel cage. I've never seen anything like this before, Larry. Hanging from the corner is the better nails in another corner. You got a better bar wire in the middle. You got the sun tacks and the light bulbs. Well, there they are, the thumb tacks. And now Supreme with Axel Rotten. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Looks like he's trying to go for a back body run ah, onto the thumb tacks. Right in the butt. Look at that in the ass. Larry Rivera, look at the thumbtacks. This all over Supreme. I mean, look at that. Right in Sticking button. right into him. And look at this now. Right in Axel the Rotten. Right in the nalga, Chico. Look at that. Chicken nuggets again. Wait a minute, look at that. Face first into the thumbtacks. Face, face. And now Axel is picking up the all too familiar cheap metal and brings it down across the coco of Supreme. Right to the head of Supreme with that sheet metal. Oh, wait, look at this now. Breaking his head in that bed of barbed wire. 
This is meant for cows, for cattle. Did you see that, Larry? Supreme taking those thumbtacks out of his own hand. Oh, look at this, wailing away now, rotten. Series of left hands, three times to the head of Supreme. Look at Supreme even has thumbtacks in his wrist. Oh, he's got that hand. kendo stick left yeah. there by the Messiah and white trash Johnny Webb. Is that the Chuga Kane? No, man, it's the Kane, the Singapore Kane. Okay. And look at this now, Axel Rotten pointing over to that bit of barbed wire. Ah, sticking right in the back. Look at the face of Supreme. Look at both these guys' faces. Blood spewing out of both heads. Oh, look at that. Axel continuing to punish away on the bloody Supreme. No, no, no. Into the bed of nails. Oh. He reversed it and put Supreme into the bed of nails. Supreme pain is what he is feeling. Looks like they're going to the outside now. Axel Rotten going to the ringside. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Did you see that, Larry? I believe it's a bed of light bulbs oh. on the concrete floor now. The four heads. The Supreme defense. Getting a close-up look, taking pictures. Look at this now, rubbing up against these wrestlers. What, what is a souvenir? I can't believe that. Oh, look at that. Into the timekeeper's table here at the ringside area in the Los Angeles Sports Arena. They got to put Whoa! The, the picture of Supreme on the cover of a wrestling magazine like they used to do in the, in the 70s. I remember that. With Supreme. the blood covers. Supreme, whoa, wait a minute, into the light bulbs! Supreme into that bed of light bulbs, crashing into his back. And look at Axel Rotten celebrating. This is a terrible incident here. If you remember back at the death match tournament, we saw Carlito Montana take the same fall on top of those light bulbs. And look at this, that Axel Rotten's got oh, that kitchen. Again. He's got that kitchen broom. He put it right across the back of Supreme, and Supreme into those light bulbs again. Japanese style death match here in LA. This ain't Japan, man. I know it's not Japan, Larry, but this is XPW, damn it. And look at this action going on here. Into the steel chair goes Supreme. A pool of blood starting to form oh, under look at his that. head. You're right, that sea of blood now on the floor. Wait a minute, Axel's got the chair. He's got that steel chair. Showing all the fans. Here it is, the chair, man. This ain't fake stuff. It's the real deal. Wait a minute now. Axel Rod with this steel chair. He's measuring Supreme. Supreme is barely getting to his feet. Cracked it across his back. Supreme now stumbling into the security railing, trying to keep his... Oh, look at his face. Look at that blood there. He's spewing out of his forehead. Look at all the fans want the picture of a bloody Supreme. Look at all these fans want to wipe their T-shirts with Supreme's blood. This is unreal. Wait a minute. What's... Oh, oh wait a minute. The table. The bloody Supreme just crashing through the table. You guys have to out. Incredible indeed. Axel Rotten now continuing the onslaught on the Supreme. Look at Axel. He's getting a second win, slamming Supreme into the cage. I believe he wants to take Supreme back into the cage to finish the job once and for all. An unbelievable action going here on the ring center. I mean, earlier on, Axel on pulling thumbtack. We saw Supreme pulling him out of his hand. Axel pulling thumbtacks out of his face. And speaking of Axel's face, right into the cage. But Axel fighting back now. Wait a minute, he's got Supreme taking it. Looks like, well, it looks like they're going back inside of the cage now. Axel Rotten shoving Supreme inside of the cage. And as you can see in the background, that bed of barbed wire is still being weighed to be juice. Well, I don't know about juice, but I know- Juice, juice. You said, huh? Juice it. Wait, Larry, wait. Look at this now, Supreme going at it with Axel Rotten, king of the deathmatch on the line. Supreme defending the crown against Rotten. We could have a new king of the deathmatch tonight in LA. Wait a minute, both these, oh! That was more of a side suplex. Side suplex, but the bigger story is where he landed into that bed of thumbtacks. And look at this now, Supreme's got a chair. The steel chair is Axel still laid off into that bed of thumbtacks. It looks look, like... I believe Supreme is getting set for his signature move. Well, it looks like he could be going for the toad splash. He's got that steel chair from the second rope onto Axel Rotten. Patrick Hernandez down for the count. This could be a three and... Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Listen, we haven't had a chance to talk since I took over the company, so I just want to come out here. We can talk, or I can talk a little bit. 
about what's going on. I want you to know, I, I know everything. I know what Lizzie was doing to you, abusing you, making fun of you, taunting you with bologna sandwiches and not coming through. That's not, that's not cool, you know? Try not to get any of that on me. That's not cool, but, you know, it, 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 those days are gone. Those days are gone. Who was out there for you, Jimmy? Listen to me. Who was out there for you? Deathmatch tournament. You go through the glass. Who's out there for you? I was. You get tossed off the balcony through a table. Who's out there for you? I was. And I'm still here for you. I don't like the way you've been treated. It's not cool. It's definitely not fair. Yeah. Let's clean your house up a little bit. I understand. Springtime, whatever. But I'm here for you. What I want to know is if I back you up, are you going to back me up? And just so you know, things are going to be different now. I'm bringing you a token of friendship. Ch Go ahead. Yeah, help yourself. You with me? OK, good. Take care of me, Jimmy. I'll take care of you. Remember that. You just got to trust me. All right? All right. Uh, take care. This Friday night, right here at the LA Sports Arena, XPW presents D-Day, a night also that Rob Black promises will change XPW forever. I, I don't know what that means. In the main event, you will see the current XPW heavyweight champion, Sabu, taking on the surprise challenge of Robert Black. Who, who could that be, man? Uh, I don't know about that. I do know we're going to see a three-way war with Steve Rosano and Kid Chaos going against the West Siders and Public Enemy. Two-time former XPW heavyweight champion, the real deal Damian Steele, will face the man that many people think should be the rightful XPW champion, the Messiah. Well, also, Mr. 80's Dynamite D goes against this deranged Pogo the Clown. Carlito Montana meets Jake Lawless and white trash Johnny Webb will square off against John Cronus. And don't forget, we got this monster, man, this, this giant guy, too. In addition to the luchadores like Halloween, Damien, El Salcero, Mosco de la Merced, and much, much more. Well, fans, we'll see you right here at 8 p.m. this Friday night at the LA Sports Arena.